Hello fellow floss tubers. It's Patty here with episode 105. Today is May the 11th, 2020. On today's show, I have whips. I have a semi small finish. I have haul. I have knitting and spinning. So sit back and relax. Grab your beverage of choice. I'm doing water today. Your craft of choice and let's chat. How was everybody's week? Mine was a little bit busy. I went out and saw my mom three times this last week. I went Wednesday and then Saturday and we went back on Sunday. Saturday I went out there to give her Mother's Day gifts because Sunday I was just going to sit home and have a really quiet day with the hubs. And while I was out there on Saturday, they have a big huge mud puddle hole mud hole on their road to get to the house so on the way in I drug bottom and on the way out I almost got stuck it was really scary because there was a guy standing on the side of the road his friend's truck was there and his dog was there and I'm looking at them thinking why aren't they moving back because I'm gonna have to go really fast to go through this mud puddle and I have to go all the way on the right hand side as far as I can go without dragging bottom well they didn't move very much so I gunned it went through and the puddle was so bad that it popped me into another rut and I plowed right through it so I called my mom later that afternoon and said I'm coming out and getting dad's truck because first of all it's a four-wheel drive and it's a truck so it rides higher <laughs> so she's like yeah you can do that and come out and borrow his truck so I will be borrowing his truck for at least a month because that will also help me get rid of some stuff for her and maybe even some stuff for me and then she's selling it so yeah I'm really sad but I'm really happy too because it, you know if these things need to go they need to start you know getting things squared away so getting that done we'll get it all squared away so Friday little man came over and we played all day long and then Saturday when I was out I stopped and saw the baby and little man and the baby actually slept and let me hold him for a while <laughs> so he was really good he was so sweet and playing with the little man at his house is fun too but I don't like to stay a long time, so I stayed maybe half an hour, 45 minutes, and then it was time for Grandma to go. Because I just, I like my little house, but I also, you know, they need their time alone too. So, shall we get on with that stitching? I think so. I think so. So, let's start with Mira Monday. The Mira Monday for May is gypsy queen i am stitching this on 32 count chocolate or milk chocolate i think it's the called for milk chocolate it's just really light and it is a swigart so she has a face look at there so i worked on her face and started on her skin down here so yeah she's got a face i really like how this is turning out i really do it's a lot of fun I like when they start getting faces and then you get the dresses going and that's a lot of fun too. And my whip go project number one for me is Lavender and Laces Spring Angel of Summer. Sorry, this is Angel of Summer. I am stitching this one on 32 count. Let's see. Let's see. It's written in here. I need to grab it. Okay, 32 count twilight blue linen and this was in a this was a kit so that's nice to have and this was the week of the white so I'm still working on her wings so this is the long wing there and I did a lot of stitching on this I'm gonna keep working on this okay and this is the week of the white because you will see this was my mania mirror mania and this time for wednesday thursday and friday i stitched on fairy moon which was a 
gift from our friend Joe. So thank you again, Joe. And here she is. And whoops. This is where I ended. This is on 32 count. 32 count Vintage Stormy Night Lugana by Zweigart. Yeah, this one's Zweigart. That other one might have been Wetchel. I might have said that wrong. I'm sorry. Okay. So, the week of the white. <laughs> I worked on more of her dress. I think from here to here is what I worked on. And as you can see, I did not get a lot of stitching done for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Because on Wednesday, one of the things I did is I went to the store and I picked up a video game. Yeah. I got to... Uh, Oh, Animal Crossing New Horizons, and that was actually the very first Animal Crossing game I've ever played, and it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, so I played a lot of video games this weekend. Oops. And then on Saturday and Sunday, instead of changing out my plans, I went ahead and worked on the Linens and Threads Friends and Family a Mystery Stitch Along. Which I am stitching this on third on 18 count Ada oatmeal Ada, and I finished April. So April is all done, and I started working on May, and I got this done and this motif here. There's one more little motif, and then May will be done, and I will be all caught up. How exciting is that? I'm really really happy with how this is turning out. I'm really enjoying it a lot. Yay! So, the projects that didn't get touched, that were supposed to get touched, was a full coverage. So, yeah, that didn't happen. And the Peppermint Purple 52 Week Sal also did not get any work done on it. And the reason that one didn't get any work done on it is that you were supposed to write something or make a really long... Um, motif in that block and I just wasn't feeling like it. I think I will figure out what I want to write in it after the end. So those two long ones will be will wait until the very last. And I did say I got a finished object, remember? So oops. Okay. I have a problem here. Just a second. Got a knitting catastrophe happening here. All right, so I worked on Prairie Schooler ABCs and I finished C is for cow. And here she is. The only thing I changed in C is for cow is I took out one of the stars, but I think it turned out really cute without that star. And then I went in and started working on D and D was what I did. There we go. That's the only stitching, new stitching on that. The rest of it was already there. So that is so exciting. I'm really happy to do this for half an hour to an hour a night. Just pull it out, sit and stitch on it. I really like it a lot. It's really working out well. So yay! I don't have the pattern I would show you. It's D is for drum. So next time I'll bring the pattern in and I can show you what that's going to look like. D, E, and F. So, it's exciting. That was the stitching I got accomplished this week. Um, maybe I'll just jump into plans. So my plans, of course, will be working on uh, Mira Monday, Whip Go Tuesday, and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is the... Uh, Mira, Mira Mania and so this week I will be working on Baker's Wife and I'm stitching this one on 32 count Ren Belfast by Picture This Plus and I'll just show you where I'm at. Here's where she's at so I need to plug along hoping to work on her face I think. They're, Finish up her hair and work on her face, I think, is what I want to do on Baker.
Baker's wife. So exciting. And some full coverage and finish up the linens and linen and threads mystery sal and work on the letter D. So purchases. If you recall last week I told you that I had a pattern that I started a long time ago when the kids were little and then I found it again but had lost part of the pattern. Well I got the new one that I got off of eBay. It came in and it is the nativity no the manger it is a tree skirt so it's 36 inches round and here is what it will look like when it's finished when I pulled this pattern back out I only had the section with the manger so the wise men and the lambs were not there and the shepherds so it was really sad to not have the whole thing I thought about just repeating it four times but then I didn't like that idea so I just went ahead and I paid $39.99 which is probably what it cost when it came out originally and it's not been opened the only cut in here was they tore off the price but yeah this is Craftmark $39 so when this originally sold it was $39 so $39.99 for this with free shipping is not a bad deal so here is all the thread, all the goodies that it needs. So I thought I would show you where I stopped at. And I am debating, which I probably am going to restart this, because there is stains, and even though you could cut those off, there is also stains. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. There's stains here. Oh yeah, and there's just, you know, it's dirty and old, so. I am going to restart this. It might be my Christmas in July restart. There we go. I need to do a couple of starts in July. But this is what oops I got accomplished before I put it away. So I mean in I mean it's a lot of stitching, but then it's not with the amount that's on here. It's not that much stitching. So yeah, and I still have all the floss. But I might go ahead and just reuse, you know, use this floss. So, yeah, that was my purchases, and I'm really happy to get that because I I have been looking for that and looking for that, and all along my mom had it, <laughs> and then she never did it because I told her I wasn't gonna work on it anymore. Did you want it? Because the kids. We're at the age where they were getting into everything and making messes. So I said, okay, I'm not working on this anymore. Do you want to work on it? And she's like, yes, yes, I really want that. I'm like, okay. And then she didn't work on it either. <laughs> so, yeah. She's a crazy woman. Knitting. I worked on my rosette window. And this I'm using a size 4, 3.5 millimeter chai goo needle I love my chai goos and here we are so here is that really cool stitch that I showed you guys last week and then here is the lace starting up so, um, there we go Isn't that nice I really like this shawl it's so much fun to knit on and there's rest rows the back you purl the back so it's a it's a rest row after all the lace and I am knitting this on with um, hand spun ugly naked guy <laughs> super wash merino and nylon and yeah, two ply I really like it I think it's gonna be really pretty it's going to be very 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 pretty when it's done so there we go and on Wednesday night we had our knit night and for knit night I plied up the Western Sky Knits Superwash Merino in the Rainbow Bright colorway and is it bright so here we go I chain plied this so it is a um, 
faux three ply but the color when you do a chain ply you can keep the colors together instead of uh, having the colors mix or barber pulling so in case you want to know what barber pulling looks like if you see this color right here that's barber pulling where the colors don't match up so if you want colors to match up you do a full three ply or you spin really consistently and when you break your bump of fiber you really really try to be consistent with the spin and then the ply will do that as well but, but I like doing a chain ply to really keep the colors in one section so this I uh, was able to get 139 yards I think is what I figured out so it's going to be a hat. <laughs> I think it's going to be as much of a hat as I possibly can get out of it. So if it turns out to be a really long, well, it shouldn't be too long. But yeah, it's going to be so much fun. And it's worsted weight, so it'd be just perfect. Look at that. It's so pretty. It's so all pretty. Okay, so I talked about plans. I have showed you everything that I have to show you. So I guess it's time for me to go. And I hope you guys have a great week. And I hope that whatever you craft, you craft it to your heart's content. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.